Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study all the functions of different ingredients which are present in cement. We need to understand that cement is a powder which is made up of different various kinds of compounds. And all these compounds play an important role in the properties of the cement that is setting and hardening of the cement. We will study the functions of each and every ingredient present in the cement in detail in today's session. Functions of the ingredients of the cement. The first one we have over here is lime and lime is one of the most important ones. Lime is one of the major constituent of cement and it is in the one of the highest proportions present in it. Both setting and hardening properties of the cement are highly influenced by lime. Lime is the principal constituent. It's the most important constituent present in the cement. It affects the strength of cement if added in excess and that is the reason why a certain proportion should be there. Now whenever we talk about functions or the ingredients of the cement, these ingredients have to be in certain proportions and these proportions are set by the governments of different countries. That means if the cement is not there in that proportion, if a certain ingredient is in excess or a certain ingredient is less than what it has to be, then there will be problem in the setting and hardening of cement. Cement is a very important material because it is being used for construction purposes. Imagining building a tower with cement which has faulty ingredients or faulty proportions of ingredients in it. If it has faulty proportions of ingredients, that entire tower will be built but it will collapse at any time. Which will lead to disastrous consequences costing lives of peoples as well. And that is the reason why any ingredient which we will talk about today, if used in excess or if used less than what is needed, will not have good consequences. Lime being one of the most important ones. Agreed that lime is a principal constituent of cement and it gives great strength to cement, but lime has to be used in the proportion which is given to us. Hence, properly calculated amount of lime is added in the manufacturing of Portland cement. Portland cement is one of the most commonly used cements. It has the highest utility because that cement has good setting as well as hardening properties and both of these properties are desirable in the cement. If it is an excess amount, it will reduce the strength of the cement because it makes the cement expand and disintegrate. If I have too much of lime inside the cement and I spread that cement on a brick and I put another brick on it, after some point of time, that cement will start expanding. If that cement expands, the brick will not stay at its position. It will either collapse down or it will come and stick to the brick which is there down. That is not desirable and that is the reason why we do not want the cement to expand a lot or to disintegrate eventually and so we make sure that the lime has proper proportions. On the other hand, lesser the amount of lime than required, also C3S, C2S, C4A and C4HA. That means over here we have C3S that is calcium silicate, C2S that means calcium disilicate, C4A that means calcium aluminates, the C stands for calcium, A stands for aluminum and H stands for hydrogen. So the C stands for calcium, A stands for aluminum and H stands for hydrogen. Now all of these are also important properties and constituents of the cement and these constituents will lead to important properties of the cement but lime has to be in a certain amounts which are in proportion to all four of these. This will alter the property of setting and hardening of cement and make it set quicker. The second and the most important ingredient after lime is silica. Lime undergoes reaction with silica to form dicalcium silicate and tricalcium silicate. So for example, I have lime over here and this lime will go and react with silica. Once this lime goes and reacts with silica, it will form silicates. Dicalcium means two calciums and tricalcium means three calciums. That means I have two calciums with silica forming C2S and three calciums with silica forming C3S. And both of these are in terms or in reactions with silica. These C2S and C3S play important role in the development of strength of the cement. That means lime itself will not give good strength to the cement. 
that when lime is mixed with silica forming dicalcium silicate or tricalcium silicate both of them coming together will give good strength to that cement the third one over here is alumina after silica comes alumina and lime also reacts with alumina let us see how lime reacts with it and forms what products with reaction of alumina lime gives tricalcium aluminates so i can write this as c 3 a wherein C stands for calcium I have three C's that means that is tricalcium and A stands for aluminate which is responsible for setting of the cement now over here for silica we had dicalcium silicates and tricalcium silicates over here for alumina we have tricalcium aluminates which is responsible for setting of cement if it is in excess quantity then cement undergoes setting very fast now we do not want the cement to undergo setting very fast if i have cement it has to set after a certain period of time or after a certain interval of time generally setting takes one to four weeks that is seven to 28 days if i put a lot of alumina in it the setting will take place very quickly we do not want that we want the cement to take proper time if the setting happens very quickly then the hardening process will start off and if the hardening process starts off there are small capillaries for the water to get into or absorbed at the final stage now this at the final stage if it appears faster then it will have more water to absorb and more water will lead to loss of strength and thus we do not want cement to set extremely fast it should set quickly but not very quickly because of the reaction is water there is high evolution of heat that means large amount of heat is evolved and this heat leads to exothermic reaction this reaction is known as heat of hydration reaction and after that comes the hydrolysis reaction due to this the application of cement paste for any structure becomes difficult and thus we should not want the setting happening very fast if the setting happens extremely fast the application of the cement will become very difficult imagine i have a brick over here i apply cement to it and the setting happens very quickly the crystallization happens very quickly so before i put another brick on top of it the setting has already happened if the setting has already happened the crystallization are already being formed that means the crystals have already been formed then if i put another brick on it that brick will just fall off because the cement does not take that brick or does not have the paste form of it to make sure that that brick sticks to the cement and that is the reason why it is very difficult to apply this cement or utilize this cement any further if it is in lesser quantity then setting becomes slow therefore to get better quality of cement correct quantity of tricalcium aluminate what is tricalcium aluminate c 3 a tricalcium aluminate has to be in correct quantity which will provide the ideal rate of setting the fourth thing we have over here are iron oxides iron stands for fe and oxide stands for oxygen now there are certain amount of iron oxides iron oxides are very less inside the cement but there are certain amounts of iron oxides which are present in the cement and which provide good strength to the cement iron oxide is responsible for the development of color strength and hardness of the cement all the three are very important the color of the cement the strength of the cement and hardness of the cement but again iron oxides are in barely minimum two to three percent of the quantity and they are not very large in amount sulfur trioxide less proportion of sulfur trioxide is used and it is desirable because it imparts soundness of the cement now what do we mean by soundness of a cement soundness means good setting properties and applying good volume to the cement now whenever i have cement the cement can actually expand a lot but we do not want that much of expansion now this space of cement should expand but little and that is the volume volume and strength combine together and form soundness of cement and this soundness of cement is given by sulfur trioxide but if it use in excess it will reduce the soundness of cement which is not desirable and thus we should make sure that sulfur trioxide is used in proper quantities finally we have alkalis over here alkalis cause the cement efflorescent now what do we mean by efflorescent efflorescent means that that cement will be sound will have good volume and again good color and that happens with the help of small amounts of alkalis which are present in the water so in today's session we study the functions of different ingredients which were present in the cement the first and the most important ingredient was lime and lime itself provides good amount of strength and quality to the cement
but it itself on its own cannot provide and that is the reason why we need other ingredients such as alumina silica iron oxide sulfur trioxide alkalis etc thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira and subscribe to ikira